It's no secret that real estate is one of the best investment vehicles out there. But how can we determine which strategies will best align with our financial ambitions? Well, you've come to the right spot. Whether you're an active real estate entrepreneur, a passive investor, or looking to get into real estate investing, our goal is to provide investors with the insights and strategies for building our portfolios all while protecting our capital. I'm Daniel Nichols, and this is the Two Smart Assets Real Estate Investing Podcast. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Off the Beaten Path episode. And with us once again is Derek Clifford, founder of Elevate Equity. So Derek, what's your number one tip, tool, or resource for investors, entrepreneurs, or anyone who's looking to go off the beaten path to create success? Mm. So, you know, um, as I was working in my W-2 career, uh, there were a couple of things that I took away um, and, and kind of like crystallized in my mind that 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 allowed me to create this freedom for myself. And if that's what investors or, you know, uh, full-time workers are looking for to escape the rat race, um, the thing that I put together was called the four C's and working on the four C's. Okay. Um, I'll go through them real quick and then cool. I'll explain it just in a second and very briefly. The four C's are clarity, consistency, coaching, and community or connection. It's those, those four. And these four things allow you to create the life that you want, um, you know, from a W-2, even while you're working a W-2. For someone like me, I really leaned into consistency because that's just how I work. That's how my brain works. Okay. But the four C's, coaching, consistency, clarity, and, um, and connections. So the first one is consistency. We'll talk about that one. Consistency is basically the ability for um, employees or full-time employees who want to work in, you know, get more into real estate investing, you create a time block for yourself in the morning before everyone else gets to the office to consistently work on whatever it is that you're trying to do. And you don't even have to have an agenda for it, but trust me, if you're consistent on it, you will eventually get to a point where you'll get an agenda because you'll get tired of spinning your wheels, just showing up for an hour and not having anything to do. <laughs> so that's the thing is leveraging that, right? That's, that's the, the consistency piece. The next is clarity, understanding what is you're working so hard for, right? So if you have a vision or a goal to get to, that's really, really important. And the more that you can get that on like a vision board um, or do some journaling or get like a mind map out there, do something visual and like paste it up on the wall, like mm -hmm. literally put it somewhere so that you can see it. Um, and I'm talking, you know, whether or not you're into visualizations or affirmations, that's up to you. That's up to you, the listener and to you. Uh, to decide on your own. But the more that's visible and the more that you're aware of it, the more things are just going to kind of pop up in your life that you're going to attract yourself towards it, right? So that's the clarity piece. Coaching is pretty self-explanatory. If you can find a mentor or a coach and even pay them um, or, you know, just continue going to things with a little bit of consistency, you know, in there, um, you're going to do really well. And that may help propel you through. And then the last is community. If you can find a mastermind or a group of people that are your peers, right? Um, you're going to be able to succeed at what, whatever it is you want to do, whether it's real estate investing or anything else. And so my advice to you is to take those four C's, right? As a as aspiring W-2 entrepreneur turning into a full-time real estate investor or just an entrepreneur in general, find one of those four C's that you naturally gravitate towards, right? And lean into it because what's going to happen is the other three are going to catch up. They have to. So pick one, right? One of those C's that you really want to lean into that, that just makes sense for you, one way to do it and lean in. And the others are just going to follow. And then behind all of that is going to be massive success. So that's my one tip um, for W-2 employees to try to get into the real estate world full time. Dude, I absolutely love that because you're, you're, you're so right. I mean, even if you were to tackle one of those, like you said, focus on one, get one done you're putting yourself in a position to, to be better, right? To, to, to succeed at whatever it is you're trying to do. And I know, I think you said for you, consistency was your kind of one that you kind of leaned into. And that, that's the same for me, man. You know, it's just one of those things yeah. like, you know, consistency, it's just one of those ones that I'm not, I don't want to say naturally good at, but it seems like that's kind of the one that I gravitate towards, right? And, but, and just to your point as well, is as you begin to gain more and more of these, these C's basically, right? Uh, as soon as you, if, if you get to two or three or four, whatever, you start seeing the success just, explode right oh you're, yeah you're, you're, and as you add more and more and more i mean say if you have consistency and clarity 
Uh, and that's, you know, that's huge. Right. And then to say you add community or coaching, just one of those two uh, to the, you know, the other two, man, that's going to take you to the next level almost oh, yeah. immediately. Oh, right. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I, I would say, yeah, I would say that these things, these, these four C's, they all work together to, to help propel you to whatever success you want in your life, right. In, in anything that you're looking to, to achieve. And I think that um, by leaning into one, the others have to come in eventually. It, it's just going to, if you, if you continue going down the path that you're going, um, you're going to crave these other C's just because that's the way that it is and you need them. So just like I said, you know, just don't think about it too much. Just pick one of them and just start really going after it. Right. And yeah, thanks for your, for your recap on that. Cause it's, it's, it's hundred percent what I feel happened. And, and I think that uh, anyone who walks down that path is, is ready for success for sure. It's a beautiful thing, man. And I'm so glad you broke it down that way because it makes it so simple for anybody to use, right? So uh, absolutely yeah. appreciate you taking the time to, to kind of break that down and go through that. It's a huge tip that everybody should take and you know do something with right now, I think, in my opinion. So um, awesome. Thank you again for sharing that. Before we get out of here, let the listeners know how they can fi- find out more about you and your business. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, we have a book uh, where we talk about you know how W-2 employees can leave their full-time jobs or just build up some income on the side. Um, either with an active or passive business. Um, so just type my name, Derek Clifford, into Amazon, and you should be able to find our book, which is called Part-Time Real Estate Investing for Full-Time Professionals. Um, or you can just look us up on elevateequity.org. That's our website. And then we're on all the socials. So check us out. Awesome. Go and follow Derek right now. Everybody who's listening to this episode, go follow Derek right now. Check out his book. Check out his website. Absolutely great stuff. Don't miss it. Derek, it's been great. Thanks again. Thank you, sir. It's been an honor.